G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I'm still in my little makeshift studio, so you'll have to excuse the echoing. I'm in the building site, <laughs> but there's no builders here today, so I'm using the room. Now, I am using today um, a resin that I've only used once before, and it turned out really well. You would have, hopefully you would have seen uh, my bloom, it had like a teal center and then some pink and orange around the outside. It is this one, Platinum Art Coat. It's a one-to-one, -one. A is always heavier than B. So for today, I have got 125 grams of A and 115 grams of B. Let's put those back down on the floor. So that's in here. Um, it has been sitting for, now the last time I didn't take the temperature or anything, I just mixed it, I poured it, and I did my petals. And uh, today I thought, I'll just see what happens if I just wait a little while. The resin's actually got a 70 minute, that's seven zero, 70 minute work time. So it's a long work time. It has been sitting in the little cup here since I stopped stirring it for four minutes. It has been sitting for, 20 minutes, that's all. It's just warm. I'm not gonna take its temperature or anything. I just wanna test it, because it's really, it's quite a thick, it's already like honey, and you can feel it when you're stirring that it's got a real tension on it. So I'm gonna pop an ounce in here. Let's move it over to my little scale. Uh, one ounce, 30 grams. Actually, I may do a little bit more. All right, I'm up to 40. 40 grams, there we go, 40 grams. And the rest of it I'm gonna pour in here. Now, I used to spray my mold with um, alcohol, but sometimes, like, I get this weird shape in the bloom where it kind of pulls away in one section and I'm thinking it could be due to the alcohol. So I haven't done it for a while, the alcohol spray, and I haven't had that weird pulling away from the side, so um, it may be the alcohol that was doing that, I, I don't know. So anyway, there's the rest of it. Um, I have got this little cup over here. Um, I just don't know if I want to do a centre. What I'm going to do for this one, and it's only probably half full now, this is a 22 centimetre uh, round canvas. I have in my store a 20, a 22 and a 24. This is the 22. I've got my 20 with something else in it. <laughs> and um, so I've only got it half full because I want to do the, the background. And what I thought I would do today, instead of doing blooms, do you guys remember um, the dashes that I did, where I sort of went like that, dash, 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 dash. I did a peacock colour one, and I've also done a, a silver and blue one. And uh, today I thought I'm just going to do white, and then I'm going to put a colour on the background. I'm going to put just a tiny bit of this in here, just in case I decide to do a centre. I'm, I'm not sure if I want to do a centre or not. We'll see what happens, but I've got that there. I'm thinking I'm going to do like a burnt orange background because it's something I haven't done before. I always do blues and pinks and blacks and things like that. So I haven't done much in the more natural earthy tones. Now because it's a thicker resin, um, it has got more bubbles, but I'll just keep torching them as they come up. So we'll get started. Um, I'm not going to put any alcohol ink in. I just want to do white petals. So this is it here. So I've probably got about 35 grams in there now. Hopefully it's enough. Right. Hopefully it's enough. Otherwise I need to pinch some from somewhere. Let's give this a stir. And I'm just going to wipe the bottom. Keep quite a lot on. I want them to be quite, quite opaque. It's the Just Resin Titanium White. But sticky on my gloves there. And I'll also put in about six drops of white, I should shake that better, white pinata alcohol in. Make sure you stir it, uh, shake it really, really well. But otherwise it separates. And I've seen it separate because I've got a big bottle and then I just refill these little ones. And you can see the 
like the clear liquid on top and the white thicker down the bottom. I'm stuck. Get out. Let go. <laughs> I didn't want to let go. All right, so that's the white. Uh, now we'll stir this up. So I thought what I'd do is do my little dashes at the 30 minute mark. And like I said, it did work before and I didn't wait at all, but I just want to see if it makes any difference because it's a new resin to me. I want to test it out and see what happens if I wait a little bit longer. Uh, and depending on how this goes, you know, next time I may wait a bit longer. But it, because it's quite a thick resin already, I'm hoping that it will be able to hold the weight of the white resin. You don't want to make your white too, too opaque because it gets heavy and then you've got more chance of it sinking. But that, so that's why you wait until your resin warms up and it gets thicker and it's, it can hold the weight of the white more. So it's quite opaque. When I tilt it, tilt it right over, you can kind of see through into the stick, but it's pretty opaque. Alrighty. Another quick little torch. Um, I still have, I still have six minutes to go before my 30 minutes is up. So I am going to put you on pause and uh, come back to you at the 30 minute mark. Righto, it's been a little while. I'm at full, uh, 30 minutes now. It's been 30 minutes. Feels warm, it's not hot. So I'm not gonna take its temperature. I just wanna go by the time. I am gonna put a little, just a little dash in there and give it a minute or so and see if it does anything. So bear with me. I'm not gonna put you on pause while I wait. Just we can watch it together, okay? I'm just going to use my stick actually. I'm just going to wipe off the bottom and then whatever's left on the top, I'm going to do that with. Okay, so we are going to watch this now, okay? <laughs> I know it's not terribly exciting, but let's just give it a minute or two or three. Because I don't want to do the whole thing if it's not going to work, you know? Okay, this is like watching grass grow. <laughs> I will come back to you. You don't want to stand here and watch me for the next few minutes, do you? Is it doing anything yet? Can you see? Oh, I don't know. It is actually, it is actually moving, you guys. It is, it is blooming. Yay! It is actually blooming. I can get you down a little bit closer so that you can see better. I oh, can't really get you down much closer than that. Oh, no, I better not put you on autofocus because what happens on autofocus is every time I move my hand in and out, <laughs> the um, camera readjusts and it looks shaky, so I'm just going to leave it on regular focus. Okay, that, that's actually um, it's actually blooming. So, uh, oh gosh, where's my little silicone stick now? I can see a little bit of something, a little dot of something in there. Alrighty, let's do this. Let's do this. It looks as if it's going to bloom. I better get a bit of paper towel organised. Okay, so I need that. Okay, oh look, it's blooming. Alright, here we go. So I'm going to Wipe the bottom. I think I'll use, instead of using the side of the stick, I'm going to use the, the bottom of the stick. That way I can get more that more runs out. It's a bit wider. So I'm going to try that. If your petals or your piping, or whatever you're doing, isn't wide enough it's not going to bloom properly oh gosh this is where I need my turntable you guys it's packed 
Would have been much easier just to do this on a turntable. Wouldn't it? I'll have to try and go through those little blobs later on. Yeah, it's dripping off the side of the cup. Hopefully it won't matter too much. I'll try and go through the blobs like that. And I'm hoping I'm making it thick enough, my lines thick enough. It's, it's a bit tricky because you want it thick enough that it's going to spread, but you don't want it so thick that it's heavy and it's going to drop. So it's a bit of a catch-22, so to speak. All right, here we go. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. <laughs> like if I'm making my lines thicken up. We'll just have to wait and see what happens when it spreads. Because I haven't, I haven't used this resin before with this particular technique. Oh, look at that one! Oh, it's working, it's working. It's doing it! As I say, it's doing it. Oh my gosh, look at the blobs I've left up here. I'm going to have to put a line through those blobs. Maybe, oh, I don't know, try and tip my cup back up this way. I'm going to try and remember that. Tip that way and then tip back. It's too many things to remember. I'll try and remember to tip my cup back up so that I, it's not dripping because it's, it's dripping off the side of the cup. many things at once though. I just can't. <laughs> I like to think I can but I can't. And I don't know if I need to sort of go in and make more lines. I'm not sure how far it's going to want to spread. I may put a little swirl in the middle later. Okay now because it's pulling in a little bit off the sides I'm going to try and put a little bit more across the top there, otherwise I'm going to have a lot of negative space. And I'm going to try not to touch the mould. I'm going to have to go in here and join those blobs up, see? Okay, where else do I need to go? Oops, that one was a bit thick. This one just looks weird. Hopefully it'll spread okay. Um, all right, all right, all right. Now these ones that I've added on afterwards, they don't look thick enough. Try and get that little blob of white out. It's always the edges, isn't it? It's gonna look messy, it's gonna be on the edge where we're gonna notice it. Always the way. Okay. I'm put another one in here. All right. I've got lots of white left. These two up here look really messy. Oh gosh. That one needs to be a bit thicker. I don't know that I can fix them up at this stage. Maybe. We'll see. I'll put a little bit more in. See if I can just make them a bit thicker and try and fix them up a little bit. Because they look a bit messy. Oh well. Okay, now, blob. There's a blob, here a blob, there a blob, everywhere a blob, blob. I'll try and, try and 
break those blobs up a little bit. I don't know whether I'm making it better or worse by <laughs> doing this. I'm hoping that it'll be all right once it once it spreads. I don't know. Okay, let's just leave it. I'm probably making it worse. It, maybe it'll be all right. Right, torch. I think I got a bit close to my torch in the middle there. See, it's, I don't know if you can see it's got like a slight yellowy hue. I might have burnt my resin a bit by going a bit too close. Wow, look at that one, how it's spread. Now I'm going to try and clean up. Spilt some resin here. Um, I don't think I'll use that. I don't think I'll do my, my centre. There's no room left in my centre. Oh gosh, wish those ones would look better. There's a hair. Um, yeah, I'm a bit worried that maybe they're not going to bloom now because I've put so much resin in them. That one and these two. I don't know. But yeah, I think I've definitely <laughs> burnt my resin there. You can't tell when it's just clear. I mean, like when you've got colour in your resin, you can't tell. But I do tend to get a bit close sometimes. I should turn this down. And if you burn your resin, you get this yellowy hue. But I'm going to put, this is going to be the back. So I'm going to put like a, a layer over the top. Uh, I may even put some of this orange sparkle into it as well. So we'll see. We'll see how we go. I was going to do that as the centre, but I won't. But I may do some of that in my burnt orange background. I oh know, she's fiddling, she's fiddling. Just trying to help that shape a little bit. Okay, um, I'm gonna get you down for a close up. Just gonna clean my sticks. And then I'll bring you down and you can see what's happening. Let's pack all that up. Get my gloves off. Alrighty, let's come down and have a little peekaboo at what it's doing. Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks so good. Wow. That one there has spread heaps. And because it's spread so much, let me get you off, off focus, back onto auto. Because it's spread so much, it has um, like thinned out, so it, the colour's not as dark. Let me turn this ring light down a bit. Actually, let's turn it off. I'll just turn it off for a minute because I can't see. There's that first one I did. See how it's got, um, it's more pale than the others? because it's spread more, so it's kind of diluted. And you can see right in the center there <laughs> where it's going a bit yellow. Oh, I forgot to swirl it, you guys. Oh my gosh, it is blooming beautifully. Yes, look at you. Oh, hopefully it'll be all right. Hopefully it'll be all right. Now I am going to give it a quick little swirl. Now this is no ring light, and this is ring light on full. Ring light on half. It's got a little switch at the back and you can turn your ring light up or down. Um, now, I do want to give it a bit of a swirl. Gosh, I need to figure out where my center is. I don't know, I think it's about here. I think I'm going to start, I'm going to start on the outside and come in. All right? And I just hope that I've, should I? I'll just do I'll just do a tiny one, okay? Just a little one. Like so. Okay. 
Hopefully that's the middle. Like I didn't want to get too carried away and do too big, but I did want something of focus, you know, something in the middle. So <gasps> I'm so excited. It's working. It's working. You know, I've been having trouble with the clock, like bigger things where it's not blooming in the middle and I could not work out what I was doing wrong. So this may be my new favourite bloom resin, but we won't know until we've turned it over and, and seen if it's um, blobby or not. So I don't know how long it's going to take to set up enough for me to do a top coat, but um, I'll see you then when I do the top coat. Righto. I actually thought that because this had a 70 minute work time that it was going to set up quite a long time, it would take a long time to set up, but um, it's uh, about 5pm now, I mean it's still bendy, but um, you can certainly touch it and it's certainly ready for its top coat and look how much it's covered up. I'm a bit sad now because I'm not going to be able to see much of the orange come through. <laughs> Never happy, hey. I'm not happy when it closes up too much. I'm not happy when it doesn't close up enough. Just can't win, can I? That's okay. I just wasn't sure how much it was going to move. Now, I have got these two oranges. That's them there. Uh, that one is, the larger one is the, what's it called? Ranger. And then this darker one is the Tangerine by Deco Rom. And I'm going to go with the Tangerine because I kind of want that sort of burnt orange look. So I'm going to go with that one. Alrighty. So nothing terribly exciting to see here. I'm just going to mix in some ink, alcohol ink. I'm going to pour it on and that's going to be about it. Let's do a squirt and see what that's like. Remember to always test it on a little piece of paper towel anyway, your colour, because as always it looks much darker in the cup because it's deep than it will do on here. I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus resin just for the top coat or bottom coat. <laughs> it's actually the bottom coat um, because I know it's going to set up really quick. So by the morning, that'll be set, this'll be set, I'll be able to unmold it. Right, I think that's mixed, I don't see any little streaks. Right, let's test a bit. Okay, so that's very light, I don't want it that light. You can see how different it is. So let's do another squirt. So I want it relatively dark, but not, not too dark, you know. I want the, um, the white to stand out against this. So I think I'm going to need a bit more. Big squirt, there we go. Just got the um, Deco ROM on Amazon. It's quite a cost effective uh, little alcohol ink. And they have some nice colours, they spread well. And um, they don't leave a skin on top like the pinata do. So, uh, yeah, been happy with them. All right, let's test this now. Okay, that's better, isn't it? I think I'll do one more little squirt. There we go, and then that'll be it. Sorry if I'm boring you, I'm just trying to get the, the right colour. If you wanted to, if you wanted like a more burnt orange, you could put a drop of brown in. But I think it's a nice enough colour. Looks different to that, doesn't it? Because <laughs> it's diluted. All right. Oh, make sure that it's nice and clean. So for the 360 plus, for this top coat, I've, uh, I've put in um, 75 grams of A and 32 grams of B. And there we go. And I decided not to do my glitter. Because what the glitter is going to do, because it's heavy, it's just going to drop to the bottom and you're going to end up with that, you know, speckledy look. And I wanted more of a, I really wanted a clear, crisp, clean, clear look for this particular piece. So we'll see how that goes. I'll just spread it out. I didn't want to do too, too thick. It's still not quite up to the top of the mould yet. 
But just because your mold is a certain depth doesn't mean you have to use all that depth, you know. I make the tray molds a little bit deeper in case people want to put things in it like you know, dried flowers or things, I don't know. <laughs> Bits and pieces. Oops, I didn't. That's a bit streaky there. It must have been stuck to the side of my cup. So you've got to make sure you mix it up really, really well. And um, I love how my centre turned out, my little swirl. So hopefully this is going to be really pretty. I like that colour. So yeah, I'm a happy girl. Happy, happy, happy. Glad it's worked. All right, torch. those bubbles. I'll let the bubbles come to the surface and then I'll, oh look at that, there's a hair, and then I'll pop a few more. So, um, and then I will cover it with my trusty box lid. Now when I cover them, I don't put them straight down like that because there's no airflow coming in. I'll always do that so that you've got some airflow here. Um, because what happens is, and this is just my opinion, the resin gets hot. As it cures, it gets hot. It may or may not cause a bit of condensation and then you get like that um, oil slick type of a look on the top. So when I've, when I've you know, closed it like that, um, it, it's got that oil slick on it and, and when I've done it like this, it hasn't. So, And also make sure that you're not pouring in a too cold environment. You really don't want to be pouring under like 21 degrees Celsius because you'll get that oil slick on top of it as well. Resin does not like to be cold and it does not like to be humid either. It's pretty picky, really. All right, none eyes resin. I'll see you in the morning. And I will see all of you in the morning as well. All right, guys, are you ready? It's the next day. It's very orange, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I'm just hoping that, um, I'm just hoping it's going to look really pretty on the other side. I've never done anything like this, so let's do it. That's what this side looks like. And hopefully it's going to be pretty. It's got a tiny little ridge there because I haven't filled it all the way, but that's okay. It's the back anyway. If you wanted to, you could uh, turn it into a little tray. Now put some handles on the other side and do a top coat, but for the sake of my little experiment, I'm not going to do any of that. I just want to see how this goes. Alrighty. Oh, I'm excited. Are you ready? Look at that, you can see the black through it. <laughs> my black marble. All right, here we go. Shall we do the countdown? Some of you like it, some of you don't. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. One, two, three. Oh, no way. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Oh, I love it. You can't really see the orange there because all you can see is black. Oh, wow. Look at my swirl, you guys. Oh my gosh, I love this resin. When I tried it the other time, I didn't really give it enough chance and only did it once and moved on to um, back to my 360 plus, but oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, I'm in love, I'm in love. Oh look, you can see the orange there. Um, I'm just gonna put some white behind this so that you can see the orange. Oh my gosh, you guys. I don't really have anything. I'll use the back of the mold, okay? Here we go. I'll put that down. The back of the mold. There we go. Oh, now you can see what, what I had envisaged. Oh, not really, but sort of. There we go. <laughs> There's the white tops. Probably a mold wasn't the best idea, but I will take a photo of it um, later on. Actually, let me just put that down. All right. I will bring you to it. <laughs> okay. Let's move the tripod out of the way. Let's have a good look. We'll go in for a proper look now that it's just lying flat. So some of the areas 
I mean, a tiny, tiny little blob, you know, where I've made it maybe a little bit heavy. Same there. Might have made that a little bit heavy, just on the end, you know, where I got my little, oops, got my little, my little stick and I've dropped the ink, not the ink, dropped the wipe down and then done this. Where you drop it, it can be a little bit heavy. So um, I should just, you know, break the blobs up, but next time. What do you think of my orange background? There's my swirl, love my swirl. It's hard to get a good swirl. You've got to wait till your resin's nice and thick. But the thing with this resin is it comes thick. So you don't have to wait that long. I mean, you don't even have to wait at all, really, if you use a really thin mix. But if you're going to use a thicker mix, then you do need to wait a little while longer. I don't know why this side's a bit blobby and that side's not. Maybe this was down here and I wasn't seeing... Yeah, it was. Look, this was the bit here where it turned out all right, didn't it? Those were those bits that I was worried about. Oh, my gosh. I love it. I love it. <gasps> Wouldn't it be a nice clock, you guys? It would be a great little clock. All right. I'll take some photos of it outside. And I'm definitely going to use this resin again. Let me know what other colours background you would like to see because I really love this. Um, just plain white. It's just really elegant. I think it's really pretty. All right. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you've enjoyed my video. Hope you've learned something about resins. <laughs> and um, yeah, give Art Coat a go. It's amazing stuff. I'll see you for the next video. I'm so excited. Bye for now.